Hello! Well, I promised a video showcasing the inside of my Shapeoko 2 electronics enclosure. So, without further ado, you can kind of see it all. All of the driver boards are mounted to a piece of ABS plastic that's just bolted into the, the standard screw points of the PC case. Got the C10 board sitting there so it's able to be connected to the back. We have way too many power supplies in this case. <laughs> and we got down here we got the high voltage section where where all the 110 power comes in and also pops out for the uh, for the DW660 hookup or at the back which is right here. So kind of just uh, talk or kind of take a little bit of a tour. Uh, starting with the power coming into the case we have wires obviously here going into a five conductor um, a cable that has two conductors that are tied straight to the wall and then earth ground going off to a a little stud that every every power supply is grounded to and that that cable rides the, along the length of the case and pops out right here at the back of this power switch power switch then comes back through that same cable to the to where the DW660 is plugged in, there will be plugged into, and then also power is uh, connected off of that to the first power supply, and then it's just a daisy chain kind of affair all the way through to the 5 volt power supply. Talking about the power supplies for a second, um, not really happy with how it turned out. I never, never expected or planned on having uh, four separate power supplies in the case. Um, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably end up buying a, a much larger 36 volt power supply that would have handled everything, and then some DC to DC converters for 5 volt and potentially for 12 volt if that's what I chose to do for fans. Um, but as it stands, I figured, I believe I figured that I needed a minimum of about 14 amps uh, continuous load for the, um, the stepper motor drivers and my stepper motors. So, the problem kind of arose that I couldn't find a, a 36 volt power supply that was 15 amps or around there. Um, the best I could find were these 11 amps um, power supplies or a kilowatt 36 volt power supply that could, I think, do uh, 27 amps. Um, and I didn't really want to spend the money that that one really was costing and it had to come from China anyways so I wasn't really a hundred percent sure about it and didn't really want to spend a little over a hundred dollars on something I wasn't comfortable you know buying from a place I wasn't sure if I could actually get a return if it didn't if it didn't turn out work to work um, but in the end this is kind of goofy but basically it is what it is and it does work really well so I'm happy with it everything seems to perform just perfect so I'm happy and it all fits in the case as you can see pretty comfortably actually It's not like anything shoehorned in there um, so basically the 36 volt power supplies um, got a wire here coming off this one and a wire here and then they they stream down trying to keep them all at a 90 degree angle from most of the other stuff um, they basically sweep underneath this um, this mounting plate and then there's a hole drilled out for each uh, breakout board that feeds power into them. And basically, each one of these 36 volt power supplies supplies power to two of these breakout boards for the Plolu, Plolu uh, DRV8825 uh, stepper driver. And basically, I think one of the power supplies supplies power to, d to the two Y motors and the other one supplies power to the Z and the X and that's basically because I wanted to make sure that at least the two Y motors since they are having to work in unison with each other that they would be supplying or supplied with the same uh, power feed not have an uh, instance where one of the power supplies was accidentally having a hiccup um, but I don't think it's really been much of a problem and also you know having a capacitor on on each you know power pickup on that's coming into the 
into the driver itself will help you know kind of even that out too so kind of one of the advantages of setting it up like that um, as far as the 5 volt rail goes I basically have a 10 wire or 10 conductor um, ribbon connector that I've got wired up there in a manner that I can basically it's running through underneath and ends up right there and it goes all the way across here and th up through here to there and basically the way it's wired I basically stripped off two conductors for each one and it just kinda continually shrunk as it went up to the C10 so that's how that all works and it works really nice and then obviously the C10 board for all the step and direction pins um, are the same thing where they have a ribbon going breaking off at each one of those points and then coming over to the connectors on the breakout boards so that's how that all works and then kind of looking over here we have the RJ45 uh, keystone jack that you can see right here and it's connected just with a piece of um, Cat5e cable uh, that is then just kind of zip tied here so it doesn't get yanked around or anything and rip anything off so basically the orange is the plus 5 volt which it says 5 volt right in silk screen and then the orange white is the common or ground whatever you want to call it so that's feeding power to the to the um, Hall effect sensors on my on my shape Oco for the limit switches and home switches or limit slash home sensors I guess is a better way of saying it so that's that and then you have the the connector ends that the back of the connector ends that go into the stepper motor connectors which are right there and those just kind of all go off around there with zip tie and go down into there and connect into the separate there's their separate um breakout boards for the stepper drivers so that's that's the whole setup um, it's pretty cool I'm very happy with how it's performing so far you've already seen this machine uh, in in action so far so and that was with this in its current configuration so to speak so I'm happy that it seems to be working just fine and doesn't seem to have too many hiccups at all if any that I've noticed so I'm very happy with it and thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful uh, just a brief mention if if this video or any other video I'm I'm making has been helpful or is interesting entertaining or anything like that uh, please uh, consider um, liking it below it really helps me out to know what exactly I should be making uh, in terms of videos uh, documenting this uh, process of me getting this system up and running and actually producing some things so but anyways thanks for watching and have a good day bye